stuff that yeah. oh, we are live i think yeah so, I, see the, I see the live button <laughs> upper corner of the screen so uh, okay <laughs> it seems i'm doing again doing it again. and uh, well again it's about pots what else yep. uh, and let's see where it goes i think we're touching around post modules templates and how relations are great and how we can use them especially if uh, as Peter and I am going to build a, a demo site, uh, I think we're on the same track. And uh, yeah, let's see where, where our conversation goes. Yeah, very nice. And um, I'm uh, happy that you want to take uh, the time uh, to have this, uh, this, this chat because, uh, well, uh, we already had some contact uh, with uh, typing in some messages in uh, Facebook Messenger. And uh, for me, the thing is uh, that I would really like to know if I'm the, on the right track with all those um, tools and that I'm doing things the right way, you know. And um, I'm, I'm just typing here the, um, the, the URL, which I'm using at the moment. Uh, it's it's uh, named after our uh, village here uh, at the at the uh, at the North Sea in uh, in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's where I am uh, living, and um, I I use this URL as a demo site uh, for integrating uh, well uh, the usual suspects, <laughs> Beaver Teamer, uh, Beaver Builder, of course, and then Pots and your fabulous uh, integration between all that. And um, maybe, um, Bernard, it, it is good to say what I want to achieve with this uh, demo site. Yeah, that would be, I think, a good start to get people an idea where we're heading. <laughs> okay. Well, as, as, as you had also done, uh, we started with, uh, with books and authors. Uh, that, that, that's an obvious uh, little example uh, to... to uh, to use the relationship uh, possibilities within uh, POTS and Teamer. Uh, I wanted to go to the next uh, level, and this uh, is about um, uh, making a website for uh, printers. And you know, okay. printers, uh, yeah, printers, they have either uh, a fabulous uh, web shop to do all kinds of online printing, like uh, Vista Print or any of those uh, bigger high-end um, uh, e-commerce websites, or they have nothing. They have just a website, hello, I'm here. <laughs> um, I, I think there might be a solution in between using Pots and Teamer to make uh, a more efficient communication by bundling uh, different uh, content components. and. What I've done now, although the website is in Dutch, but I, I hope we can all understand a little bit about what I'm doing here. I made three pots, and I made um, I made cases, I made products, and I made team members. And those three pots should work together, and you can see them in the menu above: cases, products, which which we call producten. <laughs> most like a little bit uh, as if it was in German and team laden team members and um, making the archive pages is um, quite simple because that's just a linear list of the records made in those three pots uh, but it is all about how can we um, combine for example cases and when I'm going to a single case page uh, that I want to see, okay, if I'm in a case, what products did I use and what team members were involved in that case. Uh, that's the main purpose. And so, so cases is basically use cases for you. Yeah, use cases, yes. Yes, so or, or, I, I, I made some, uh, let's say, uh, random e examples with a couple of images and a little bit of text. And uh, if you go to uh, the, the example, um, uh, one of those examples, it doesn't matter what. Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. If you go to the example on the right from Meha, uh, that that example, yes. Uh, click on it. 
and scroll a little bit down. Uh, on the right, you see the the the, the printer. Uh, that's um, that's the, the 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 product we are using to make those brochures. So that's another, um, um, let's say, part of uh, the pot of products. And if you scroll a little bit more down, there you see the specialist uh, for that um, uh, for that case. So this page. Uh, uh where we actually have one page for a special case consists of three uh, parts the case itself uh, the products we use at least a list of products now it's only one so i want to make 30 or 40 examples and m having more products and one specialist at the moment it could be more specialists uh, so three components put together on one single case um, page so that 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 is about what i have done and um uh, on this page on the left side you just see um, the html editor and i'm using the uh, pots to to uh, to get the fields there on the right is just a posts module so there could be a couple of them under it and on the left bottom side the specialist there i used um and and that is my question bernard there i used um a pots template and i inserted that uh, at that place because i did not have um uh, a direct link from cases to team members maybe you can go to the home page there you see uh, the structure of um, the way i made uh, the the pots and the relations i i hope you can uh, distinguish a little bit how i made it and maybe it's wrong maybe you can give me some advice on this uh, uh at the first glance, I've seen it myself for the first time, it looks good. Um, you can always uh, have uh, another connections between different items, but you can easily traverse over items. It depends on if it, this is multi to multi or multi to single or how the connections are set up. Uh, maybe you could share a quick login and uh, we could take a look at how the pods are configured then it's maybe easier to to follow it um yeah um yeah i i will uh, uh let me see <laughs> yeah, you I, see I we are perfectly prepared as always uh, no no problem <laughs> uh, shall i make a, a login for you I, I don't care just uh that would be the best i think yeah so in the end, the relations are always useful to traverse from one pod to another uh, because you have something like a, a connection between them. Uh, it's, uh, right. For people who uh, don't have a database background, it's maybe easier to talk about it that way. So you can say like one case is uh, related to a product and to a team member. And right. we have... Uh, label product in the in the center and it's related to case and it's related to team so it's always the easiest if you start from the product and go in either direction but uh, you can use pods to traverse or to use different kind of loops to get information anyway there but uh well let's see once we look in the back end what we can do to help you out in that uh, uh situation oh well uh, bernard you can log in uh, with the name uh, test account. Just test account, nothing special. And then PLC seventeen. PLC seventeen again. Oh, seems I have. Maybe your cap locks on, maybe, or not? P, we, uh, like Berta, or P? No, P, from Peter. P okay. L C 17, P L C 17. 
So that was the issue. No, we don't want to store it. No, we don't want to store it. So we are in the back end. OK. So, oh, uh, about it, but. <laughs> So maybe to make it easier, because if, if you speak German, you can grasp a little bit of uh, um, the idea behind Netherlands, because it seems always like a mix between English and, and German. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe maybe I can uh, just put it to English. Uh, uh, if... uh, well, we'll just switch my... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, change your account to English, yes, of course. So, ah, that looks much better. Uh, yeah. I know the buttons. So, page builder. Now we want to go to, you have said it was on production. No, it cases was where the, and go here. Now we have uh, the right page and we can take a look at the theme template. Yeah, exactly. And the, the, the <laughs> that's that's always for new uh, new uh, use. Yeah, it stores. Uh, uh, oh, the uh, well, this is uh, this is not that exciting. Uh, this is just a normal thing, as you can see. Yes. Yeah. This is uh, and and uh, this is for the single the the single part of uh, of uh, of this 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 part. And on the right. You just see the posts from the related uh, one, so you can cancel this one because this is not maybe for others, but and this is just a post setting coming from the product. So there we have uh, the, the first feature where really it is helpful to have the integration because the other stuff could be done with a Beaver themer and knowing how the meta values is. And if you know, just use a, a custom field connection and enter your meta value of the field name, then you can display it too. But this one is uh, special. And there we can select a relation from a current item. So yeah. the current item in this case is uh, the use case for this uh, special, uh, for this, uh, um, oh, how, how do I say it? I don't know the right word. Never, uh, don't mind. And then you can select which relation to use. So yeah. this time we have a relation from the current item, from our use case to a product. And then the post module iterates, well, because maybe they use more products for different. Yeah, uh, yeah. they come uh, under each other, stacked above it. Don't look at the design yet, but. Yeah, I, the, I it's just about the, the, the technical. Yeah. And then you can uh, design, uh, decide uh, which order you want, and yeah. you can even preserve the relationship order. This was yeah. in the oh, last yeah. one. Okay. So, okay. It, because pots. If you use the list view from 2.7, you can store uh, 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 an order. You can drag and drop uh, your products in order. And yeah. this way, you can say, OK, this is the most important one, should be the first, and then go down to the others. OK, I didn't see that last one yet. So I'm already learning now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and everything of, of these features should work with every post module once they will yeah. release the new versions. As it works with Powerpack, it works with uh, uh, Ultimate add-ons, it works for uh, the post slider, the post, uh, all, all kind of stuff which uses posts or mm -hmm. custom post types. Yeah. Uh, even once they uh, will release the 1.3 version of Powerpack for the content tiles they have. Oh, OK, OK, OK. And now we come to the, the, the yeah. point in question. Yeah, that, that is the most Im important thing in, 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 in my um, ID because I didn't have a direct relation from cases to team members. And, um, and, and this is the way I solved it. We, yesterday, we also had a little um, uh, chat uh, uh, together how I could get uh, the related content uh, not from a direct relation from cases to team members. And I did it this way, so maybe you can have a look and try to tell to me if I did it the right way. So I used the POTS layout in this case. Yeah, so he used a template, uh, which is uh, really powerful stuff once you grasp the idea behind it. 
So I think first we just look at the template, how it is currently done to see uh, where are the differences. Uh, and under pods, you might have to activate templates if you're using an older version of pods with the 2.7 release, they are activated uh, automatically. Yeah, I know. Just uh, for people watching and have no idea. So, and there we have a, a pod template. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, and there you see, uh, pod templates always are based uh, or assigned to, 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 a, to a custom post type. So yeah. you can use them. You, if you have the same field names on different post types, you can reuse them because yeah. they are not uh, hardly bound to a post type. Just they need to have the field values. Mm -hmm. And for uh, reference stuff, you can select the current uh, pod which you want to use, and you get a list of all the fields pods knows about it. And that's not even the full full list you can use. But there are some special stuff which is which which isn't in there, so it gives you a hint. Uh, it's on our homepage for magic text. There are uh, is a documentation about most of the stuff. Okay. So. He, he, he assumes he starts at uh, our use case. So, and we have a relation from the use case to the product, which is the printer we have seen on the top, on the, top, on the right. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, to be sure, he's, he, he checks if, if there is a product, then do stuff for each of the products. So it's like a, it's a, it's like, it's like a loop. Uh, for PHP programmers or for non-programmers, it's like go over the products and do something for each of the products yeah. if there are more than one. In this case, there's just one. So he puts out an, an, an unordered list, which I would put before the, the, the loop because um, you need it only once and want to iterate over the items. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because if there are more, you would get uh, uh, an, 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 an unordered list for every item. So it wouldn't be that what you want. Uh, Bernard, may I interrupt you? Might, might that be uh, the, uh, the thing I experienced yesterday, that I, I did not get the team members uh, under each other, but that they were uh, written out in, let's say, one line? That uh, Maybe. That yeah, okay, because they looked combined together. It depends. That can be another issue. We can take a look later on. Okay. And you can use the full tech here, but I find it mostly easier because now we are in product and POTS knows we are in product. So uh, in the end, the easiest ah. and easier to read is to just say um, uh, something. Yeah. Uh, uh, and now we have... Uh, a product and pr related to the product is a team member. Yeah, okay, okay. And then it becomes sometimes a little bit clearer what, what yeah. you want. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think you need, need a line break behind an H4, depending how you have uh, done your CSS, but that's minor. So then, uh, yeah, that's one way to put out uh, photos, but uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, Okay, let's let's do it the the, the pods way maybe some uh, yeah. yeah because I think it's better because in pods you can say again so it's you want to put out the photo yeah. and if you want to do that you can do just underscore image yeah and then uh, add the size you want to put out in this case I guess it's it's best to know to use thumbnail. Okay, so so you don't need the whole official, let's say, um, way I did it. That, that's no, you, not necessary. The great point is you don't need it, and it gets you a benefit because we use internally WordPress functions. So if you put ah. out a large image, you get all the stuff like screen set and use a bigger image if, the, if there is more room or use the smaller image. So you get all the fancy stuff which WordPress does with images. Uh, because it's a connection to the media library, and uh, this way uh, you don't need to ca take care of it for yourself. Okay. You have it done greatly because you have encountered there's the underscore scores 
underscore source src, SRC and uh, used it. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, this is this is interesting because that that learns me to use the the, the, the template builder better. Yeah, templates are really great. Uh, 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 to use, I personally wouldn't use uh, B for bold. I would just use a P tag and would uh, format it with CSS. But that's minor yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, I understand. But I just wanted this for this example. Yeah, it's CSS. It's, it's quick and dirty because it's yeah, I, I, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, and here you put uh, the 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 link to the archive page. Is that right? Yeah, the link to the team member uh, page. Okay. Uh, the individual uh, team member page. Yeah, the individual uh, far much easier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to telephone right now. So um, you can always, um, if you are not sure, Let's give it as in another line. And if you start to, to type, you get uh, this net little net helpful uh, selector. The only disadvantage is the selector doesn't know you are in the each product loop. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but to show it, I would just uh, go from 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 the start. So we would have product. Uh, then we would have uh, point the team ID. And then you have something like, oh, it doesn't show up. OK, that's strange. OK. Because normally it should just be at permalink, but it isn't, doesn't show it to you. Maybe we have an. Um, So we need the permalink from the team member. Yeah. The stuff we're doing now, right now, assumes there can only be one team member, and it's it, at this stage. Yes. At this stage, and it's defined that way because else you will you would get some uh, uh, unexpected output because if there are multiple team members, then. Yes. Everything, every line would output a common separated string of just the post title or just the, the field you used. So you would get a uh, se common separated list of email addresses or yeah, a common separated is, list. Bernard, that is what I experienced uh, last, uh, last night, uh, yesterday, that, that uh, if I have more than one team member for that product, that they were listed uh, with a comma and and not under each other. Yeah, that's exactly the issue because you know pods doesn't know what you want. You give him uh, okay, so that's the post. Uh, that's the type of, of you want to display the uh, the, the pods type or the custom post type, and mm -hmm. you give them a field, and then it displays. Uh, if it finds finds more than one, it just puts out a comma separated list of the values it found. Okay. So and now. Let's check. Uh, now, we sh now we should um, um, uh, uh, go to this product and add my name to it, and that we get two uh, uh, team members involved, and that they are under each other. So um, uh, first, well, let's check if the link did work because that's yeah. one. So and now the link yeah, works. So it's just permalink. I'm not sure why it doesn't show up. Maybe it's related to the beta or something else. So that's the one way to do it. So create a, a template, iterate of your over your items, and display them. Sometimes it's the only way because if if you have uh, a single connection, then a multiple connection, then a single connection, I have limited the, the traversal which you can select to just connections which are uh, are hit a multiple connection once because after that. Mm -hmm. The results are not predictable for the most users if you don't know what's happened in the back end. Because after multiple connection, you would traverse only to the first connection of the multiple one. So uh, yeah. it doesn't really work. So if we go back into the page builder uh, and show, uh, let's take a look if you can. By the way, that's uh, 
already using uh, uh, the BB 2.0 alpha for yeah, it is. Uh, for users just wondering what's happened here. So now we could try and say uh, you would expect uh, if there is now we don't have the team member here. So no. yeah, we can go and take a look. Um, here we have the case, the product team with the team leading. So take a look. Let's let let us take a look at the uh, team members. Yeah. And there is a relation item. So the each team member is assigned to a product. Is this the, the right? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is what I assume. Okay, that's right. So, so you can have each member can be assigned to multiple products, and I guess each product can be assigned to multiple team members. Uh, there. Okay, they use simple. Uh, uh, Simple lists are great, but can lead to some unrespected results sometimes. So, oh. if if you if they're not really the use case for it, I prefer to use either uh, another custom post type with just a few entries, yeah. or, or for example taxonomies. Because most of the time, if you have only a few items, it's more a categorization for you, and the categorization is something which can be done with taxonomies. Just a oh. quick idea. Uh, while we, I don't see, oh, there, team ID. And uh, it's related to product, and we can take a look, it's multiple select. We can even switch to list view in uh, 2.7 because it's, uh, I think it's the, the uh, more advanced. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, or, or an easier way to handle relationships. So let's do that on the other end too for the team members. Uh, I always forget it. Uh, <laughs> you need to save the field. <laughs> And then, uh, and we already have included those nice uh, color. Uh, yeah. So, and now if you take a look at the uh, all team leading, we have, uh, oh, Peter is there and jo Johan. And if we take a look at Johan, he is related to the sprinter. And, and I also um, related myself to that printer. Okay. I just did that now, and uh, if you go uh, to uh, to the uh, back to the cases, then you can see what my real question is. Maybe then we can get to some point. Yeah. What how I should solve that? Yeah. So now it's exactly that happened. What I told in the, the start. Yeah. You this, get a yeah. name separated, and each field is duplicated. So yeah. This, well, this is what I want to solve, actually. I see. I, I wanted two specialists under each other. And you also see that the image is not displaying anymore. Huh? Yeah, because uh, text separated list of an image makes no sense. No. So, <laughs> <laughs> the, the easiest way, uh, uh, because to, you can't use uh, post modules for that, because uh, Currently, there is no way uh, to do a. You, you would have to do a double loop because you're going from the case to multiple to the printers and then from the printer to the users. Yes. So, so uh, there is no really easy way to use a post module in at that stage. Maybe I came up with an idea. Just take took a note of it uh, to think about it. But currently, you would go to the. Uh, Templates. Yes. Let's edit it. And in the end, 
you want to do the same you have done out there in there once again. So to make it a little easier, I will uh, just uh, leave out the, the I'm not sure if in the current state because we have in the better some issues with um, uh, nested loops and stuff like that. But the idea would be to so now we just want for example uh, the name so that would assume is the post name and then we want the accept. And we have a field called photo. So we're just uh, nesting the loops and say, OK, for each product, show me each team member. Yes. You have to change host name to post name in the, in the first green oh. line. Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, OK, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so maybe I could even uh, zoom a little bit in, which could help uh, to. No. OK. Where is it gone? No, we need to. It's uh, because it's easier to to follow. Yeah. For so mm -hmm. then we have uh, the telephone number and the link for each member, and we could even because it's it's uh, good practice, and we could use uh, again the 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 post name here, so we have a real name to click on. Ah, okay. And you can remove the um, in in the image thumbnail, maybe the the um, the closing uh, the the uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 creator then sign before the break, because that was standing right of the image. Oh, that one. That, that one there, maybe maybe con. The rest was okay. Okay. Uh, now we have the one the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now it's right. Yeah. So yeah, where's the? Okay. So we are going to make a double loop for that then. Okay, seems that is right. Okay, that's I I I uh, I feared that something is breaking with nested loop. No, yeah. Well. If you add a loop, uh, you should finish it the right way. Uh -huh. so <laughs> we need another. Uh, the other one as well. Yeah, yeah, the other one as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we need to, to close both loops. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. That's live cowboy coding. <laughs> well, so everybody else can see uh, how things are going with this kind of uh, trial and error uh, if you're starting new in uh, this kind of yeah, stuff. Of course. Yeah, it's, especially uh, especially sorry. starting with pots isn't that easy at first. No. No. I mean uh, and we can uh, I must admit the documentation could need some love so and now we are. We yeah, have okay. the first That's one right. and we have the second one. Yeah. Yeah, that was my my uh, thing yesterday that I didn't succeed in that. And <laughs> afterwards, now that you show me how how that was going, um, it, it's logical, you know, once you see it. But uh, you have to to learn the the yeah well the basic the basic uh, concept of of doing something like this. Yeah. And does the, does the link work? Uh, because now we have the permalink structure here and not the normal name. So I don't know. Yeah, it works, but um, 
maybe to try to be 100% perfect here is to uh, to get the, uh, the normal name, but not the permalink there. Yeah, that's that's it depends on, on your um, take on it. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter that much. But Bernard, is, is, is this, let's say for this challenge, which I've given myself to, to, to work on, is, is this the way uh, if you do not have uh, from, uh, let's say, the, um, the, uh, the product, the, uh, uh, the direct connection to the team members, is this then the way to get the team members on that page? Uh, uh, I think I would go that way because uh, you, you don't want to connect the, the, the uh, team member to the case directly because that would be rendered easy because it's, it's against database normalization because yeah. you already have the connection. You don't need an additional one. And no. it, makes, it provides room for errors because you connect it on the one side but forget the other one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it might be possible to 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 if if there is only one product uh, to team member connection, or uh, I perhaps would assume a use case is about one printer and not mul multiple printers. Mm -hmm. Use so, case, or, yeah, just one, yeah. So I would maybe go and uh, but that's about data structure and thinking about what information do you need and how, how, yeah. how things can happen. But in this case, if you say, okay, uh, each case is just about one very specific case for one product and not uh, using multiple products because... Uh, no, uh, each, uh, sorry that I interrupt you. Each case uh, can need multiple uh, products. Okay, then it's the only way. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Because you need to traverse from case to multiple products, and multiple products need or, or can go to multiple team members. Yes, that's it. And uh, the post module uh, can loop over, over one, but can't loop over the second one. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So okay. if you want to do that, uh, you would either need to create a, a, a different connection which does the looping for you and supplies a list of IDs and use that. Mm -hmm. Or um, that's, that's another option. I'm not sure if I will uh, uh, get that working on the fly. Uh, but I, I do not hear you at this moment. Did we lose connection or? Hello? Oh, oh, okay. There you are again. I, I thought we lost connection uh, for a moment. I didn't yeah. hear you. Yeah, we did lose connection. <laughs> oh, okay. We are here again. <laughs> because I couldn't open the page myself. So that's uh, uh, one, half an hour in, cut it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it seems to lag a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we have widgets in pods. And that stuff I want to bring over in some form, but it's a little bit more complex, and so I put it on hold. Okay. And uh, you have uh, pods list items. Yes. So if we put that on that side, maybe. Yeah, keep the other thing in, in the way it uh, is okay now, yeah. So, and now we can start ah, choose yeah. a, a pod to, to display. And we could say we want to display the team members. And uh, we uh, will just use a, a simple um, 
And then you can define uh, database things. Um, I think that uh, 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 is the where. And now let's see if we could, you could craft a where uh, um, conditional to say yeah. where and going from the product. Now, now starting from the team member. So like it's uh, I, I don't know the fields and uh, it's just uh, to give, give you an idea. So you can say okay, like it's uh, the team team member uh, team ID. I think then the product. Then the case is something to your current case, like like the current case. Oh yeah, oh yeah, in that way. So there yeah. you 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 place your conditional actually. Yes, yeah, so, and then you would just do a, a different database query, uh, but it leads a little bit knowledge about how it works and how to get the current item in there because you then you need a special magic tag to, uh, uh -huh. and that needs. Testing. I haven't tested yeah. deeply okay. with this. But, but, but that's just an alternative if you don't want to use, uh, let's say, the, um, the, the, uh, the. Yeah. Okay. But now that we know a little bit more about how to use the, the POTS template, uh, that, that's just the best solution for this. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. Uh, one other thing you could do, or which I might end up doing, is because uh, at some point you might uh, want to lose to list uh, uh, the printer and right below the user for it. So if you take yeah. a look at this one, uh, in the end we are already doing our first loop here. So we are looping over related items. Yes. And we could uh, just use a, a custom layout. Yeah. And in there, you have all the fields and the options. And uh, easier this would be just uh, uh, open another one. And let's say, yes. And we put in there. And that's another thing I'm working on. So it's a little bit of a teaser, teaser uh, show. Uh -huh. uh, and we can say we could add a related field or a template here too. So, and this template would be based on the current product. Yeah, yeah. So, if we um, uh, insert here, I don't know, uh, let's copy and I think the easiest thing is um, to go to the templates. I hope I don't lost uh, some uh, listeners. And just take this part. Yes. Uh, and uh, I personally would create a, a template for it, but for the uh, show effect, I hope it works. If not, uh, I have to <laughs> okay. do some uh, investigation. Yeah, okay, but I also understand this one that you could integrate it in the in the um, in the posts uh, layout. Yeah, I, I would prefer to use uh, template connections here because it's. Yeah cleaner and uh, it's all about reusing and uh, don't repeat yourself but uh, and we are already seeing in the background yeah, updating and telephone <laughs> numbers uh, and we have uh, additional options in pods just take a look at our template text I will uh, yeah. put the link in the show notes we have been sorry Sorry about that. Yeah, now we know you're a, uh, an iPhone user. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and you have template tags for after, before, only once. So there are many use cases where you can say, OK, the first item should have a special class. You can use once, or you can say before and after. So I won't go into the details, because uh, for a good example, it's better to, it's better to prepare it. Okay. But uh, for this one, we just need to. We didn't copy the the unordered list, so I will add it quickly in there. I'm pretty sure uh, Jim will listen to this podcast. Jim is the the great support guy from Pods, and okay. I hope he won't uh, uh, say, "Oh, why have I done it that way?" No, don't show this to people. Uh, <laughs> But I think you're pretty, you're pretty fine using that stuff. So, and now 
we have under the brochures an each loop of each uh, assigned uh, yeah okay that's a nice uh, nice solution as well yeah okay and now let's see uh, but, but can... Bernard, Bernard the disadvantage of, of this one is when I have um, more products uh, connected to the case that I I I do um, get the specialists, the team members, uh, displayed every time under each product. Yeah, but that happens with the each loop too. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I, I personally, I don't think I would would use this one here. Yeah, uh, if you want to display each of them only once, uh, yeah. neither of these approaches works because in this case you lose over each product and from the product you go to the team member and for the next product you display it uh, the, you 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 show the team members again ah okay in that case uh, you would go need to go and use the list widget and craft a a, 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 a where clause to filter every uh, every <laughs> it's the same one again <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, then you would you need to go to and use the list widget and craft a, a where clause to say I just want to display uh, uh, every user which is re related to that case because you can ah. traverse. Uh, that's a, a use case for the, the 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 where clause. Okay. Okay, that's clear to me. And just to, to show it off what uh, what what you were talking about because it's a little bit abstract if you're not uh, uh, accustomed to, to databases and, and all those relationship stuff. So he was talking about uh, if we have uh, a case, yeah, which was um, oh you're using advanced columns pro or yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's it's really a, a great product. Yeah, like, it's uh, great. It's yeah. Same. Uh, did you recognize we have a post integration for it? So you can set relations in the admin screen. Yeah, I saw it. They have done a really, really great job to to to. So and we have somewhere down here we have uh, products, uh, and now we could say we used yeah. two different yeah. products. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this add new button you only get if you're using pods 2.7 because that's yeah. the, a feature yeah. of the yeah, our new uh, flexible re uh, of our new reasonable relationship stuff which is yeah. quite handy because you can add a new product right here save it yeah. and yeah. select it so I know. you yeah. don't have to yeah but I'm educating users so. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I, in my experience there will be people watching this podcast or mm -hmm. this uh, live recording or whatever and now we have uh, here the posters yeah which has peter and johan working for it and mm -hmm. you have the process which has oh surprising johan and peter working for it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly. maybe recognizing it's johan peter but it's the other way at start it's peter johan yeah 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 <laughs> that's related to the order in which you put in we were yeah and you could change that order yeah you would need a little bit of additional logic which goes yeah, a little bit too okay, far. But it matter for now. and that's the, the beauty because you can use pots and add some uh query stuff if you know how to do it or if you know a little bit of databases you can mm -hmm. use order by you can use where yeah, you can exactly. you can even use group by and having and stuff like that if you yeah. know how it works and maybe you need a little bit php but mm -hmm. many of that stuff works in short codes or mm -hmm. in templates or almost everywhere and uh, that's uh, the big um, uh, how do I say uh, the, the big difference to to some yeah. other custom poster plugins that you have a lot of flexibility, and ah, uh, I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm uh, really glad about uh, about this. And uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I think Bernard, maybe I made some agenda mistake by something uh, because normally my next appointment would be at two o'clock. But I think the other one thinks that it is one o'clock. So, <laughs> um, I mean, we, because we have, 
we handled most of the things at least I wanted to to see uh, in this uh, in this uh, hangout. I don't know, um, but this is very interesting because uh, maybe you can confirm to me and the other listeners that that this is more than less the way to go to connect pods with Teamer and to use um, multiple custom post types, at least more than two, because with two, the demos are always very easy. With three or four or five, you really have to think about your data model. Yeah. Ex exactly. Yeah. We have first, think about your data structure, which is the most yeah. important. We have even an, an, and we call it not podcast, but on podcast, uh, it's on our <laughs> website, uh, which deals with that topic, yeah? So yeah. why is data structure important and why think first how you structure it and how you want to, to, to traverse over it? And then you can stuff, do stuff like that very easily uh, uh, because we don't store it, your, our data in some uh, serialized string and you have just to, to yeah. extract it. And uh, yeah, so it's one way you can do it. Okay. I'm sure we could come up with others, but that's a very good way and for our, uh, uh, switching to German uh, and a very uh, easy way because you don't need to know really much about okay. it, just a little bit of that. So going to an appointment, I'm sure it yeah, wasn't the last uh, conversation. No, 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 but I, I really want to thank you uh, because of this, this these little final touch details in this particular case really helped me steps further to go on. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we will have contact uh, many times after this, but uh, again, thank you very much for your time and uh, learning me uh, this, uh, this stuff. And I hope it will be useful for the for the others who are going to which uh, watch this movie later on yeah so have a nice day i have just some closing words for for people listening yeah, and First. i will continue and uh, i i will let them um, uh, i will i will have to remove actually your account because i told <laughs> you so that everybody else is going to do stuff there so i will do that right away and that's uh, a good idea yeah, and if you want, you can uh, you can get a, a private account to uh, to uh, to get in and see uh, how uh, things are uh, evolving. Yeah, that's very appreciate. Uh, okay. I, I do appreciate it. So okay. the right way around. Thank you very okay, much. So have a nice bye evening, bye. Uh, day, whatever. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. So to finish finishing it up, uh, two or three important points. First of all, I um, believe it all. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just make some, uh, 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 how do you call it, marketing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Um, for uh, people who want to support POTS, I will put a link in the show notes, which is friends.pots.io, because uh, POTS runs on uh, donations. Uh, it's uh, sponsored by Automatic, which covers most of the costs, but not everything. And we have uh, Jim, which uh, he does a very great work at uh, support in our Slack channel. So if you have questions, it's, it's the best to head over there and ask your questions. Um, and keep in mind, it's, it's, it's uh, a free product. So we can need every help you can uh, give us. I just want to, OK, right there. Uh, yeah, and if you have other questions, I'm regularly checking Facebook and other resources. Uh, and if you have ideas or uh, suggestions how we can improve the integration, just head over to GitHub and leave an issue there or an idea. I really, really welcome it because uh, it's far easier to implement stuff um, uh, when you have ideas coming in from users. We will put out the, the new version, I think, uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, which uh, will improve some minor bugs we have found and allow uh, some additional stuff to work a little bit easier. So I'm looking forward to your feedback. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>